Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and I, Wolverine, issue number one of two. This was a fun comic book. It didn't really have much of anything to do whatsoever with Iron Man 2020. This could have been completely knocked out, unless some little connection happens in part two. But in this one, zero to do with anything. Let's get talking about who made the comic book. We'll talk about how fun the comic book was. So Larry Hama is the writer, artist Roland Boshi. Uh, colors by Andreas Mosa, letters by VCs Joe Sabino, cover is by Juan Jose Ripe and Jesus Abertov, and there's a variant cover out there also. Carlos Lau does the graphic design. So basically this is Albert showing up in the Princess Bar in Madripoor. Tiger Tiger is there and she mistakes him for Patch. She's like, oh my god, my dear departed Patch, he's actually alive, he's back, yay! And oh no, you're a cyborg. Why are you in the likeness of my Patch? And it's... It's as basic as basic gets, and I freaking love it. It really gave me back those feels of Volume 2 of Wolverine, the early issues. God, it felt great. I want to go back and start reading those Marvel Comics Presents books at this point. Like, man, what a great feeling. Anyway, uh, how come how come Logan hasn't gone back? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just to say hi. She's just a human. You know, mutants don't like humans anymore. Anyway, whatever. So they're just, you know, they're all just hanging out. And, and Albert's like, I'm trying to find LCD. Uh, he goes off, not LCD, but, you know, light, load carrying, anyway. So, LCD, so the, the little bomb girl. So he goes off and he finds the, the she uh, talks to Pierce, uh, uh, what do you call it? It turns out that he sold the parts to different people. He just goes around and starts killing a bunch of people, collecting those pieces, putting them together. Now the Reavers and the Triads and the Russians and the, the, the Yakuza, they're all after... <laughs> They're all after them now. Um, this could be fun in the next issue. But again, I don't see how they're going to connect this. I don't see any reason for them to connect this. Look, you want a fun comic book? Grab it. If you're looking for something that's going to tie in, stay far away from this one. You know what I'm saying? But, like, it's Hama. He knows these characters. Uh, the art in here is fantastic. There's one scene in here where he actually does, like, a fast ball <laughs> It's a fastball special with LCD's head. And, like, she really looks like a little girl in this. Where, where, where? There it is. There it is. There it is. Look at this. He fastball special with a decapitated head so it can go up and bite <laughs> this, this triad. I think it's a triad. The triad's ear. The head turtle or whatever. It's like it actually looks like a decapitated little girl, pouty and everything. And, you know, she talks like this with this speech impediment because she's a little girl. A lot of W's in her words. and It was fun. This was a fun book. Anyway, guys, that's really all this was. And there's nothing else to say about it except enjoy. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.